to DNA. Today we're going to talk about season three of Cobra Kai. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like review videos like this. We're going to do a lot more, especially when WandaVision comes out. So let's just get into this. What did you think about the season? I loved it. Yeah. I freaking love season three. So this year they moved to Netflix, you know, different production, a little more money. Yeah. Um, sometimes when you get more money, you get less creative, but they did not disappoint. I thought I I thought the same. I remember it was I I remember I didn't watch it at all because I was like, oh, Cobra Kai, I'm not about to watch this. Like it's not happening. And then I was like, why is it so good? Like oh. the season finale of season two made me really excited for season three because the cinematography, the the fighting, why why was the why was the choreography so amazing, you know? And so they really brought it for season three. So and Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai is a kind of show like they know what they are. Right, you know right. I mean? And I try to pretend yes. to be real. They know it's over the top. Even though it's like over the top, and it's like, this, none of this is believable. You forget about that, and you're just caught up in it. That's very true. It's such a good story. Yes, I I really love how they they did the opposite of doing like Johnny's story and his storyline of like, the villain always thinks that they're the good guy. So it's like, let's see his side of it. And we lo I just love how they like, there's an arc. There's like everything and with every character. So right now in this season, um, even though he's like kind of the bad guy, my favorite character is Hawk in this show. I, his arc from like when he started from when he was like a nerd to like learning how karate and like now he's like the bad guy, but like then he's not the bad guy. It's just like, I love it so much. And he's like the best fighter. Like, right? He's the best yeah, fighter. I, he had a yeah, he had a good arc. I like I like Hawk's arc. Um, I like how he broke out of the shell right. right now with all the confidence. What yes. was really cool about this one, the the kid who was bullying him, the Asian kid who was bullying yeah. him back in season one talking about his lip. Yeah, yeah, yep. Kind of nervous, you know, a little a little PTSD when he came back. He's like, oh man, it's the kid that messed with me. Yeah. But man, when he, he came back, crap out of his friend. <laughs> yeah, he's like, bah, bah, bah. I was like, oh my god, it was so awesome. But who was, who was like, your favorite character? My favorite character is still Daniel. Daniel Russo, Daniel, the main character. He's still my favorite character in the show. But yeah. what I really like about this season is Crease. Yes, I like yes. how they showed how Crease started out of a regular guy. At first, when that flashback episode happened in the restaurant, I thought Chris was the big tall guy. Yeah, right. Right, right. because he was the bully. He was the right. bully one. But no, Chris was the mild mannered guy who was the waiter. I love. Him. Right, and you see the parallel between him and Hawk now. How he was also the nerd, and then he's turning in like to something where he doesn't even recognize. Even Daniel. Right. And yeah, Daniel couldn't mm -hmm. fight back in the eighties, and now he's you know. So yeah, I like how they did that kind of show how Crease because it's you know you always wonder because you know when you watch Crease's character from the back in the movies, why are you this mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> what? What's like relax? And, and it's, yeah, right? And it's not like it's adult me. It's kid me. <laughs> right? <laughs> he's doing the most, but I do like how they they um they gave him a backstory so you can see yeah. why he got to that point because in the movies we he was just mean you know right. and so right. now they gave that to him and now we're getting more purpose in this story right. we're developing so now let's talk about so we talked about uh crease we talked about the bad guy let's talk about um daniel for a little bit and how he went to japan let's talk about the japan episode yeah so that was pretty cool if you watch karate kid part two he went to okinawa him and mr yagi went to okinawa um, and in Okinawa is where he met the, the girl. I forget her name right now. One of the one of the crazy characters who was the Johnny of that film was Chosen. Chosen, yeah. Chosen was the Johnny of that film. You seen the flashback? Uh, he was like, "I'm about to kill her if you don't come over here and fight me." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like crazy. So I was like, uh, should this guy be in prison? <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, no, it was cool because what I really like about it was. He went back because the, when they did the flashback, the place was like a hut. I remember he said, man, this is like yeah. the land of time for God. Mm -hmm. And I, I laughed because when he got there, it was a red lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a red lobster. It was a mall. It was all nice. And he was like, 
this is the green place now like I don't get it do you think that so I, I was watching this other review and do you think that um Johnny is not getting enough screen time because his in this season three because like this is supposed to be Cobra Kai it's supposed to be about like Johnny and stuff so do you think that he's getting he's not getting enough screen time or do you think that he's like no, he's good? I think he's getting good screen time I think he's getting a good appropriate amount of screen time mm -hmm. um because you know there's so many characters in this right all the mm -hmm. kids the moms the it, even Daniel's wife got a lot of free time this time. That's true, right? yeah. I liked her, yeah. It. yeah, I like her character. I'm trying to find that balancing act of these characters, I think everybody's getting the appropriate amount of screen time. Because this this season was really about us understanding Crease. Yeah, right? I think that's I think that's what the importance was. Right. Yeah. So they gave us a lot of his backstory to understand why Crease is the way he is and why he shows no mercy. You saw twice when it happened. You saw mm -hmm. when he didn't blow the place up to kill, you know, the one guy where he got killed and it cost him to get captured. So Kreese from that learned, yeah, if I show mercy. Things will I'm go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Right. So that's when he just decided from then on that no doesn't matter what I do, I'm not gonna show any mercy to anybody. Now let's move on to um, the where we get to the last two episodes of the season where Allie comes in and she has her moment. Um, I really liked how they didn't try to make a love triangle between Johnny and, and her and Miguel's mother. Um, that's not that's the name right and um because because the mom and Johnny they're really they're they're building a relationship now it's been three seasons like it's finally so they can have something not trying to be like okay Ali's gonna be a part of it now and it's like no yeah. just no okay <laughs> me too I'm glad they went down that road and they did you know I, I, I'm glad she was in it for this nostalgia moment yeah. but I'm glad they didn't make it awkward like that because to me Johnny he's on this other path it was good to bring Ali in for the nostalgic factor for the rest of us but I didn't want it to turn into some triangle thing. It's look, Cobra Kai is about the kids, period. Mm -hmm. It's about the kids and about how Johnny and Daniel are using their old experience in life to forge and mold these kids, and, and that's what it should be. Don't get into all this love triangles on right, Save yeah. The love triangles for the kids. And let them bad it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. It's save it for the kids. So. Right. <laughs> Another side note to that, um, so Elizabeth Sue plays Allie, right? And so I know her sure. from, oh shoot, I know her from The Boys. And the you know, boys. I just had a little PTSD thinking that Homelander was gonna be like, doom, and come down <laughs> and like kill Johnny or something. I, I was just thinking about like, well, Homelander's gonna show up at any point and come down. Like, Homelander's gonna show up any <laughs> minute. <laughs> <laughs> but. Doesn't matter what show it is, right? I was just, oh. Oh I was thinking about Homeland would be like, so what's going on? What's what's, <laughs> what's going on here? That's all I was thinking about the whole time. Oh, Anyways, with Ali's character, she did bring um a moment of to put she did bring a, a point to bring the story forward, to push yeah. the story forward. I mean, um of getting um LaRusso and Johnny to work together. Yeah, so her, that was to me, good. her character was us, the audience. Mm -hmm. Her character was like, you two guys need to grow up. <laughs> Y'all like still 40 fighting? 40 years ago. Right? <laughs> yeah. Her character was really the adult in the room saying, I can't believe you guys were still like fighting over this high school date that we had back in the day. And you got to let that go. Right. So it was good. So it was perfect her, for her to bring her in to Just bring her to the end. Hopefully, anyway, we don't know what it is before, but hopefully to bring that to an end as they move forward now to go after Cobra Kai. Yes, so now let's go to that last episode when uh, LaRusso and Johnny and uh, Johnny's son and Kreese fight. That scene was really good. I actually really liked that scene. You know what happened with Chosen. This is like all the Karate Kids. In every Karate mm -hmm. Kid you ever watch, one, two, and three, something happens earlier in the movie some training that happens in a movie that you know will be used at the end, like and the grade and all that. Yeah, yeah. So when he even chose him a fight and then chose him, you know, yeah. numb all his limbs, I was like, yeah. Okay, it's I'm coming, it's coming. That. Right, and, yeah. Uh, and sure enough, he did. But it was good. But, but look, the Russo looked like he was about to kill old Creed. I know, he was ready. He was like, because, because the thing is, when, when, um, when Daniel looked at Johnny, Johnny was like, yep, no mercy. And he was like, oh, bet, no mercy, bop. Like, do it. He's like, do it. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> he was like, do it. And then luckily his daughter. He gave him the, gave him the mobster. <laughs> right? Left. <laughs> go, go, go do it. That's crazy. He was ready. He was ready. He was, ready. He was done. He didn't do it. If the, if, if, if the kid didn't come and say, she didn't come and say, yeah, be because like this guy, Chris is coming after their children. So yeah, it's it's justified in a way. So like that scene, as I really like that where how it ended, where they they're like, Chris is like, we're gonna take this to the streets. We're gonna take it to the tournament. So it's gonna be Cobra Kai versus whatever their new name is gonna be, My, uh, Maya Doe versus uh, and uh, Eagle Fang. So now we have our teams up. We have Cobra Guy versus the Good Guys. So yeah. I am just so excited about season four. Let me know down in the comments what what you think is gonna happen in season four because I don't even know how they're gonna put ten season I mean ten episodes of stuff. I don't even know what they're gonna do. That's I don't crazy. know. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. So what? Do you have any last words for this? No, that's it, man. Let us know what you guys think about it. We will be back to review. Um, uh wandavision in two weeks that's going to be a weekly show from us and we'll be coming on right after wandavision guys to give us our blow by blow review of that it looks awesome i'm hoping it's awesome yep. and uh, then after that we'll be jumping into falcon and winter soldier yeah um and that I, that's the one to be honest with you i'm really that's the one i really want to see falcon and winter soldier so yeah. i'm looking forward to all these great shows in disney plus so uh, but jump down in the comments, guys. Let us know what you're saying. Subscribe. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like and subscribe and let us know. All right. We'll see y'all later. Bye. All right. Let me stop. Oh, we have to do our thing. We always forget. What, like, what is it going to be? Let me like move this. this time. I'm going to do the 80s rock rocker thing. I don't know what I should do. Should I do it too? Yeah. Let me get a little bit closer. Okay, got it. Bye. Uh...